Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses RC to get kids excited about math and science. Today I just wanted to do a quick review on the World Tech Toys Striker drone. Now this is uh this is a pretty uh, inexpensive drone, um, you know, probably around fifty or sixty dollars retail. I picked this up at uh, just the local Fry's Electronics here, uh, and uh, it's it's a, a pretty obvious clone of the SEMA, the pop, the very popular SEMA X5C or X5C1, uh, that whole series, and um, so I decided to check it out. We we also have a SEMA X5C, and it's it's a great drone to start off with. Just um, very controllable, very uh, very adjustable for the price, and very uh, very durable. Most importantly, uh, there's a lot of part support. Although you do usually have to order through eBay or whatnot and uh, wait for shipping from overseas, uh, usually China. Uh, but um, there is an abundance of, of aftermarket and part support. Uh, th that also means is that there's also a lot of uh, a lot of clones such as this. So uh, this striker is actually a pretty uh, pretty close clone, but there are some differences that I noticed, uh, and some of them are I think uh, well warranted. So number one is that you actually have these protectors over the bottom of the gears, which is nice, especially when you when you crash land in grass or dirt or whatnot, uh, this offers the gear some protection. Uh, also, the fan blades for the front of the quadcopter are red, uh, as well as the fan guards, which helps you distinguish it from the back. Uh, on the X5C, everything is is all white. Um, also, I noticed that the um, the propellers, the the shaft, as well as the motors, are a little bit larger and beefier on the Striker. Um, so uh, just just a couple things of note there. Uh, one con that I did find is that the controller, uh, although it's better laid out and there are actually labels for the buttons, unlike on the on the uh, the SEMA X5C, uh, you know, there's an easy button, there's video and photo, whereas they're just unlabeled and you have to refer to the manual on the on the SEMA. Um, I didn't like the feel of this as much. It, it feels a lot cheaper uh, than the SEMA, and. Uh, on another note, they're not interchangeable, so you cannot bind the SEMA controller with the striker and vice versa. That that won't work. They use different electronics. Um, so they, although this seems to be a pretty close clone, even down to the the graphics here, uh, the the parts interchangeability um, is is probably limited. I, I I probably wouldn't try it. So um, if you're if you're going for parts uh, interchangeability and maximum replaceability, you probably want to stick with the the SEMA X5C just because you know that parts made for it will fit. Whereas with this, although it looks pretty close, uh, I I don't think think things will fit uh, just because of the uh, the motors seem a little bit larger there. Um, the propeller shafts and etc. and also the radio uh, doesn't bind, so it doesn't. It definitely doesn't share the electronics. Uh, so, anyways, thank you for for watching Racing to Learn. Follow us on Facebook at Racing the Number Two and then Learn, and also subscribe and like us on YouTube. Thank you.